welcome back to the channel guys welcome to another video i'm just finishing up on the computer now it's about uh, 10 o'clock i'm gonna print off my sketches and head to the workshop let's go Okay, welcome back to the workshop. Welcome to my next video. It's going to include these, which is a pack of playing cards. I'm going to make um, just a little wooden holder for these. It's my nan's birthday. She's going to be 90. So this is just a little gift because she likes things like that and she's more sentimental. She's warned us all that she doesn't want a big fuss. <laughs> so this is just a little gift made by me and I know she'll appreciate that. She plays a lot of um, cards, so this will give her a little case to hold her favorite pack inside. I'm not sure what wood I'm gonna use yet. Probably some oak, maybe some ash. I'll have a look to see if there's anything else I've got, but I, I think she'll like the oak. So I might go for that. Yeah, and we'll see how we get along. material down for no other reason than I haven't got enough uh, outfit space because I've got junk down in the corner but this will be enough to make um, three of them so the other off cut if I like what I've made I'll make some more which I can always add to my website for sale um, so yeah we'll just put this through the planer and get it down to the thickness we need and then we can move on to the ash piece material to its final thickness um, and dimensions apart from the cross cuts so I'm gonna take a quick lunch now and then come back and hopefully finish off where we can get to the glue up um, yeah I'm a little bit tired so I need some food some fuel and then we'll get back to it
next thing to do is cut some mitres, like this one. I'm not going to be able to do that on the mitre saw because it's going to be too dangerous to hold little pieces. So I'm just going to make up a um, jig that's going to hook onto the workbench so I can cut these by hand. I'm not going to show that in this video but I'll show how I made, how I made that jig in um, a future video. But for now um, we'll skip forward of me making the jig and then we'll cut some mitres. Okay, so I'm back. It's been, I can't, I don't even know how long it's been. I've still got a bit of a cold, um, but I'm happy to be back in the shop. I'm not sure where I left off with the project. Um, I'm pretty sure that I filmed cutting the two panel pieces and some stock for the sides. I'm gonna use the jig, which is the one that I made, which will be a video following this one to cut the mitres for these strips and yeah good to be back in the shop i've had like maybe two weeks or close to two weeks now um and it's really disappointing because i wasn't able to give this to little nan on her birthday but hopefully she'll forgive me um she was giving me lots of love to get well so um yeah i'm sure she'll be okay because this will be a handmade gift that she will hopefully treasure forever. There you go. So as you can see, on small pieces, the jig works really well. ready to glue up. I'm going to use the tape uh, trick to clamp the pieces. before taking it to the band store and cutting it. That's the final part glued up. Um, I threw on an extra two clamps just to be sure um, yeah I mean if anyone knows of any good small clamps um, that are not too expensive then let me know because I need more because that's my entire collection and they're just cheap ones uh, yeah so we'll wait for that to set um, it bonds within 10 minutes but I'm going to set a timer for another two hours because that seemed to be good for the mitres um, and then we can get sand in, take it to the bandsaw as well to cut the lid. Okay, um, I just ran into a little problem for the first time with my um, sander, my Triton one. Um, I went to sand the piece and found that it's not square so when I'm sanding it it's putting this edge out of square and I'm not sure why because the table is set to its maximum which should be I can't push it up any further um, but it's still not sitting 90 to the table if anyone knows the reason why that's happening um, let me know so I'm having to just freehand it now. I 
just fired up the dust extractor. I got too scared to cut it. So I thought I'd share my feelings with you. I'm really scared to cut this line through because I don't really know why. It's just like breaking into the box. finish on that's the project done a couple of things that i would change if i did it again is the magnets um even though they are rated very powerful magnets when i'm putting the cards in the case the uh, lid snaps on lovely but obviously if you turn the case upside down you've then got the weight of the cards um and it only just about holds them in there so i want to get stronger ones for next time around so even when you shake the cards inside it doesn't push the lid off so that's just one thing um just a little bit unfortunate but that just gives me an excuse to make another one um and i'll make a couple of these probably and sell them on the website but obviously this one was for my nan's birthday so it's a shame that it isn't perfect so what i'll do is i'll show her the gift um, she can keep it as my first prototype of my product and I will make her a brand new one um, with stronger magnets in there so I'll leave you with some final shots of the card case if you enjoyed the video please give it a like comment um, and of course subscribe hit the bell icon so you see my next video which will be the uh, mitre jig and that's it bye